Meet Samsung's latest Android flagship, the i9300 Galaxy S3. The box our test unit came in contains a standard USB cable, a charger, headphones, which is likely what you'll get in the final retail version. The design of the S3 takes after the Nexus lineup rather than its predecessor, the S2. Its chassis is made entirely out of glossy plastic, but due to a new manufacturing process that Samsung calls hyperglaze, the result isn't too bad. The S3 is quite prone to fingerprints and smudges, but in reality it doesn't look or feel as cheap as some feared. At the front, the Galaxy S3 features a 4.8 inch Super AMOLED display with Gorilla Glass 2 and an HD resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. Above the display is the front facing camera and notification LED. Below the screen we have the customary home button and two capacitive keys for menu and back. The back of the phone is bare save for the 8 megapixel camera with LED flash and the loudspeaker grill. Galaxy S3 runs Android 4.04 garnished with the latest version of Samsung's TouchWiz UI. The phone is powered by Samsung's latest Exynos 4 Quad, which as the name suggests features a 1.4 GHz quad-core processor and 1 GB of RAM. This makes for buttery smooth UI navigation and seamless performance when browsing or running heavy apps. The latest version of the TouchWiz UI has some handy tricks up its sleeve. For example, the fast toggles in the notification area can now be scrolled sideways, which allow more of them to fit in. Another neat trick is the ability to control all volume settings without entering the settings menu. You can also launch the camera from the lock screen, which is handy for snapping quick photos. The lock screen supports various widgets like weather and dual clock as well as app shortcuts. You can have a total of seven lock screens, which in usual TouchWiz fashion you can move around and delete. Adding widgets can be done both from the app drawer menu like, the, like in vanilla ice cream sandwich or by long holding on a blank section of the home screen. The web browser is business as usual. It's even faster now, with the four CPU cores helping load web pages impressively quickly. Other apps like contacts, messages, phone, and email now have added ICS-like functionality, but nothing major has been altered. Holding the home button opens up a list of recently opened apps, which can be removed by a swipe to the left or right. There's also neatly placed shortcuts to remove all recently opened apps from memory or to open the task manager. 